Hey there Rust fans, Wandering Wizard here. I'm pleased to bring you today my signature base, the Wandering Wizard. At 44,000 stone, this is a budget base. It is obtainable for the solo player. It takes 28 rockets to raid this base. That is a tremendous amount of protection for a base this size. I'm showing you the base layout first in Fortify. The layout is slightly tricky, so pay close attention to this. You will notice that this base has two external tool cupboards as the only tool cupboards. Each tool cupboard will have four C4 worth of protection. If a raider guesses correctly, they could grief this base using only four C4. However, since griefing is almost always done as an afterthought, it's very, very unlikely that a raider is going to use 428C4 just to grief your base. Pay careful attention to the foundation layout and the placement of the doors, and the rest will be straightforward. I'll let the video play to show you how each floor is set up. You'll notice that this base has an empty foundation tile in the center so that you can grow cloth and food. This base has four main loot rooms. You can see in the corners of the base where the doors lead. On the second floor, there is a layer of empty honeycombing above the loot rooms. Above the empty tile in the center, you'll build ladder hatches for the tower. Here's the base cost. This base does have 13 doors, so it uses quite a bit of metal. If you're looking to save a little bit of metal, only the first two doors leading out from each of the four loot rooms need to be armored doors. That will make eight armored doors, and the rest can be sheet metal doors, and that won't impact the cheapest way to raid this base. Now since this is such a strong base, you might want to consider an upgrade of the tool cupboards. Here's the added cost and you can decide whether that's worth it for you. If you're trying to build this base, it's going to be easiest for you to follow the fortify layout. So I'll go ahead and just take a walk around this base so you can get the flavor. As I showed you, there are four main loot rooms, all on the ground floor. There's a nice space in the center here that you can grow cloth and food in. You can notice how I like to set up my loot rooms with a shelf, two large boxes, and a small furnace on either side of the door. Now I'll go ahead and show you the tower. You can see how I've decided to set up this tower. This layout allows for excellent observation and fields of fire. You see that I can shoot at the base of my walls and in front of my front door. That can be very useful if somebody's trying to door camp you. 
you can customize your layout of the roof of course but just take note of the fact that I have placed pillars in order to add more stability to the roof and not every layout will be possible. Now you know how to build this base so let's go ahead and rate it just so you know how I arrived at the figure of 28 rockets. Originally I thought this base was going to be a 32 rocket raid, but it actually turns out for whatever reason the rockets that I'm shooting right now are actually doing a little bit of splash damage to the segment on the right two walls away. Splash damage can be a little tricky to understand sometimes, it is what it is. If you're keeping count, this one will make 15 rockets and I'll be into the first two loot rooms. I'm calling this a 28 rocket raid though because you're about to see me repeat this process on the other side and it's only going to take 14 rockets. So I'm not sure exactly where I went wrong on this side but something was slightly imperfect. So just now you could see very clearly that this wall on the right was damaged. It took some splash damage. I'm not sure why it should have because it was quite a bit away from the rocket blast, but it did. So 
So as we're nearing the end of this raid, hopefully you've noticed that by keeping the loot room separate, by keeping this base as a modular design, I've really minimized splash damage with the rockets. That's the key to making a very strong base. You'll also notice that I haven't accidentally discovered a main tool cupboard. Just by looking at this base, I know the tool cupboard has to be in one of two spots. But raiders are also going to know that there will not be any loot hidden near the tool cupboards, and that decreases the risk of them actually attacking it. So that's the 29 rocket raid. We'll call it 28 though. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Feedback is appreciated if you want to leave a comment. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out my other videos.